In this video, I'm doing a position analysis from the Las Vegas Open 2023 Backgammon Tournament. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in the future videos. And I'll work on that. Thank you to Mark Olson of Backgammon Galaxy and Bill Riles of Ace Point Backgammon for allowing me to use this position in this video. This is the position for this video. It's from the finals of the Open Division of the Las Vegas Open 2023 Backgammon Tournament, of course, in Las Vegas, Nevada, between two outstanding players. Chris Trencher is playing the white checkers at the top, and Jonah Seawald is playing the dark checkers at the bottom. This is the first game of a 15-point match, 0-0 zero, zero to 15, or 15 away, 15 away, Jonah does own the cube on two, and Black has a 4-1 to play. So take a look at the position, think about how you would play the position, and we'll look at the analysis. You can pause the video if you like. Also, if you want to see what happened in the actual match, there's a link to the point in the video in the description, so you can take a look at that. So I'll pause for just a moment, then we'll look at the analysis. Okay, so there are two reasonable options here. One is just the safe play of bringing one down 13 to eight. Uh, it doesn't do much, but it is productive. I mean, it is safe, it's not very productive. Alternatively, you can hit twice and make the aggressive play, hitting eight to four and hitting eight to seven, putting two checkers on the bar. So this is the XG analysis. It turns out that the safe play is actually better than hitting twice. And we're gonna look at why. So this is what happens with 13-8, moving one checker from the 13 point to the eight point. And the resulting position is here after it's played. And the second play is 8, 7, 8, 4. So 8, 7 hitting one checker from here and 8, 4 hitting another checker here. The resulting position looks like this with two checkers on the bar. Now, look at what happens after this. Black leaves four blots scattered around, three over here and one on the other side. Additionally, you really have to look at the relative board strength. White has a four point board. So white has one, two, three, four points owned in the board and black has only one point in the board. Uh, and anytime in the event of a hitting exchange, that needs to be a serious consideration because when you have a checker on the bar against a uh, four point board, there are 16 numbers where you can't come in. But when you have a single checker on the bar against a one-point board, there's only one number where you can't come in. So it's 16 times more likely to dance against a four-point board, 16 points as likely, 15 points more likely, 15, 15 times more likely, 16 times as likely. Uh, I know we had a discussion about that. Anyway, um, that is an important consideration to uh, think about. Um, also, you break the eight-point if you do that, which is an asset. If you zoom into the analysis, you see the second play loses a lot more gamuts. It goes from 14.7 to 25.1. That's huge. That's a lot more gamuts. It does win some more gamuts, but not that much. It is the DMP play where uh, the double match point where you just need to win the game and gammon wins and gammon losses are irrelevant. It does win more games as shown by here. Although if you want to look at analysis, you want to change the score to put it at the MP because it plays differently. This is the heat map for the top play at the upper left, the, uh, the safe play, and then the aggressive play at the upper right. And the difference, you see there's a big difference with the fours. Any four will hit as well as double three, double two, and double one. You see those, those are huge swings in favor of uh, the safe play. And this is the same thing with gammon losses. So this only takes into consideration the gammon losses. You see these huge 
differences in terms of gamut losses uh, when the opponent rolls a four or a double three, double two, double one, and most any number except for double six. So this is the original position again. Now let's look at a modification where one checker is brought from the 13 point to the eight point as shown here. Now that makes a huge difference. Look at the original position, 13, eight was right. Um, and now in this position, hitting twice is actually right by a lot. So why? Now hitting twice looks like this. You play eight to seven hitting here and eight to four hitting here, putting two checkers on the bar and this is the resulting position. So the difference is there are some major differences. First is there are only three blots. You need to think about the blot count anytime you're in a hitting exchange. We talked about the relative board strength. That's one consideration and the blot count. The more blots you have, the more dangerous it is for you in a potential hitting exchange. The second thing is uh, black has retained the eight point. So this is a valuable asset to have rather than a liability and just being a blot here. So those are the things you want to think about when considering these positions. And that was the position analysis from the Las Vegas Open 2023 Backgammon Tournament. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. Thank you again to uh, Mark Olson of Backgammon Galaxy and Bill Riles of Ace Point Backgammon for allowing me to use this position in the video. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And until then, keep rolling your dice.